us that we had great energy in North Carolina game and against North Carolina AC, our energy wasn't really there, our cutting wasn't as hard. So we want to just become more consistent with that. I don't believe so. I think that we have a lot of control over what we play and I think that just starts with us and our energy. What type of win does that do for this team at this time of year? I mean, I think that we come out in every game expecting to win and really just leave it all on the floor. I think that we have a lot of opportunities and we have nothing to control about really. So we just going out every game. Q, the uh, coach went to a shorter match. You all played a lot of minutes, which you had for most of the year. How do you feel the team is uh, going into practice and getting ready to do it? Uh, the team does a good job of recovering, uh, things like Richard Stewart. Um, and just, I mean, the older guys, the younger guys know that, hey, like, recovery is big. We have a lot of games coming up, and this is just one minute. So recovery is big for us, and you know, just taking care of our bodies and mentally getting ready as well as skiing, which is something that I do. Have you all gone to the and so forth? No, we did. We had a film over in North Carolina, um, just cleaning up your stuff this morning. We lived in, you know, uh, we had practice now, so we made a lot of film before after. Do you know much about them? I mean, have you seen anything other than highlights yet? Um, I'm not specific. You know, we've been focusing a lot on ourselves. Like we said, even in North Carolina, it's going to be we just focused on Georgia Tech, trying to get ourselves better. I think the best part about the North Carolina game is all the way around. You guys have actually kind of been great our defensively all season. Um, what makes you better on your things than anything? I think it's just how hard we play. I know the emphasis on that. Um, and really, it's just a mindset. And just getting the job done, we got to help each other. No, no guy is going to guard another guy in the same team play just by themselves. So we got to help each other out. And that's how we're, we're doing it. Quinn, could you tell, uh, just beyond the missing shots, that mixed enough zones and that sort of thing was giving them a little, a little trouble? Yeah, like I said, I think our activity and our energy really uh, helped us out a lot. We had like 40 deflections this past game, and you know, I think that bothered them. But I think it also gave us a lot of energy as well. How important has been to get Josh Sheep back to where he was last year, you know, after missing all summer with the hip injury and so forth? Yeah, I mean, I'm still excited. I think that even with him getting back, he's, he's, he's going to be a much better player than last year. We're really excited to see him. You know, his leadership has gotten a lot better. Um, and really, like I said, our defense is all about scrapping energy. That's what he brings us heavy. Was any part of you just a little bit surprised or like, wow, we really beat North Carolina? I mean, it was a dream come true in my eyes. I came to Georgia Tech. I was like, hey, man, if there's two teams I could be, it would be UNC and Duke. <laughs> and uh, for that to happen with these guys, the guys that they expect us not to really win any games. And you know, you know, we had a much better scoring team last year by the numbers. But I mean, like I said, we came out and we played the game, we played our game plan, and things worked out. Just around the social media stuff, have you heard, like, what a win like that, what can it do for, your, for the brand of Georgia Tech basketball going forward? I mean, I think it lets people know that no matter what your team is, no matter the stat lines or whatever, you have to go out and play the game. Like, we're playing basketball, and the team that scores the most points wins. Um, so we're playing the game, we're just trying to play to our strengths. That's it. I'm sure you have to have going to the game over in the toughest place in the country. Are you looking forward to that challenge, or do you think this last one helps you maybe handle that challenge? I mean, we're looking forward to it. I'm excited for the guys, like the young guys, just to experience all of it. Like, hey, man, it's ACC, you're up there, Cameron indoors. Um, and it's also, it's awesome to come up with one like this, because it actually gives the young guys, like, hey, like, we can play with these guys. Like, there's, like, we, we're here for a reason. And uh, so I think with this, we're just going to ride it out. And even if we come up short, we may lose three games. We may win five games. It's just like, we look back on this game, for example, and it's like, we did it. So we continue to do our best to do it. Have you brushed up on your trash talk? <laughs> oh, no, I, I don't do much talking. Uh, not, not verbally. Yeah. What was the coach's message to you guys on this last win and to the expectations for his team shifting off? He, he emphasized energy again. I mean, he said, in a sense, it was like it was almost an away game for us, the amount of fans that North Carolina had. But he thought that just energy from the bench, the energy that we had in timeouts. And uh, our activity really was, was a big difference. Do you think more fans are going to start showing up now? I mean, I would hope so. It would be awesome. Uh, but like I said, I mean, I think it's, it's a lot about us. We love our fans. We really need them for, for this ACC play. Um, and I'm excited about it. But yeah, I think the win like this will definitely get some people at Does this cause you to look at the Duke game any differently? Like, 
there's no reason why. I mean, I, I'm sure you were coming in before. I thought you know we, we can win, but does it make you think like you know? We, oh yeah, I mean definitely. A win against UNC like this is, is definitely a confidence booster. There's no doubt about it. Um, and going to UNC and going to Duke, it's like I mean I think they're just as good, if not better, um, in certain ways. So um, we got to prepare the same. We got to prepare. That's your favorite. Getting ourselves better.